All right, so I'm going to combine the next two. These are power chords versus bar chords. Um, power chords don't have the third that we've been talking about. So it's literally just root, fifth, root. That's it. Um, thing that's interesting about power chords, you know, whether you're playing acoustic or electric, what's, what's the, uh, the guide finger is your ring. And this, is, this has to do with bar chords in general. Uh, when you think about what a bar chord is, we're moving a traditional chord. So if I have an E chord, right, there's my traditional E. If I don't use my pointer finger, refinger it, that becomes my 4-1 bar chord. And so the, the guide finger for an E was middle. So when we go to this, it's going to be the ring. This becomes really important when I'm moving around, because if you notice someone playing bar chords, or power chords even, if I want to slide down, if I leave my pointer finger, it's going to collapse. But if I leave my ring, it becomes a really great trick for moving around. And, and just in general, if I'm going A to B minor, like that, it, it's all about that ring getting in place. Guy fingers are so important for just making it clean and consistent. Um, but, you know, what's written down here is that we have all the notes uh, for uh, the two big strings. So this is your first step towards memorizing notes on the guitar. Um, and what I recommend you do is literally just E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. Really just kind of give yourself uh, some sort of exercise. E, B, C sharp, A, do them on one string. Uh, a, E, F sharp, D, you know, uh, go through all the patterns on one string, then go to the next string, do the same thing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, A. Right, just, and you know, you can do all with one finger, just, it's memorization. Slow, steady, um, say it out loud though, because that's, it's, you know, I talk about meeting new people, right? It's just, uh, you're memorizing that way. So anyway, so as we go through chords, um, I, I kind of gave some exercises uh, with, you know, where we have to find them in multiple ways. So for instance, uh, you know, power chords. So we've got E, we can do this one for E and A, where I'm just doing a one finger. All right, so E to B5, power chord to C sharp to A. Well then the next E would be up here in form two. Form one for B, then C sharp, and then A. So now I have two different ways for that one. Uh, uh, so let's keep going. Uh, a, E, F sharp, to D. Uh, which is also A, E, F sharp. Same, same D. Uh, so we could have gone. But it's also just what's the easiest. Um, D to A to B to D, which, yeah, that's all that one is. Uh, we could do it here, uh, a little bit tricky up that high, uh, G to D to E. C, G, A, F, so C, G, A, then F, or C, G, A, F, different sounds, right? Good rock stuff. So you then, that same idea we're going to do with our, the full bar chords. Um, and, you know, the form two major is a, or form one major versus minor. These all work the same as E. Um, then form two, so it's now it's a root. So these are, I'm doing C's, but what's written are B's, right? Um, all of these we're going to go through these same exercises. You just want to find different ways. Write it down. You know, I didn't this. You know, this is workbook style. So, you know, go through one page and just sit there and say, okay. You know, what are my different options for all these? And just, just play through them.